Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be covering the Hellhound box mod by Wolf Mods and the Hellhound RDA also by Wolf Mod. Um, I'm going to go over how they're used, uh, what comes in the package and what else you're going to need to buy separately. Uh, the Hellhound box mod, the retail price is about $89.99 and the Hellhound RDA is going to be about $49.99 to $59.99. Uh, you can, you're going to have to purchase these separately, but you can purchase just the Hellhound box mod and use it with another tank, or you can also purchase the Hellhound RDA and use it with another battery. So you don't have to purchase these two together to use it as a kit. They are made by the same manufacturer and they have the same type of finish so they look good together, but they don't have to be purchased to, uh, together to be used. Uh, you can purchase them separately, you can use the box mod with any tank, and you can use the RDA with uh, any battery. So let's go over first with uh, what the RDA comes with. So the Hellhound, what's so special about both of these products, they're made in the USA. Uh, it's very rare to say, uh, to have a box mod or an RDA fully built in the USA these are made in the USA. The quality is great uh, and they're great products. The Hellhound RDA uh, this is what it looks like. Uh, it has a four post design so some RDAs have a three post design where they have uh, one positive uh, post in the center and two outer negative posts. But this one, it has a four post design. It has two outer negative posts and it has uh, two positive posts. So you don't have to share uh, any posts with each of the coils. It is a dual coil uh, RDA. In the, in the package, you get the RDA itself and you get a Phillips head screwdriver. You get two pre-made coils. You get extra grommets in case any of the ones that come on the RDA itself snap. And you get extra screws for the for the for the post. So if you've never built an RDA before, it's actually pretty simple. Uh, we have another video online for the for the Lone Wolf uh, RDA and the mod kit that walks you through how to build an RDA. And if you've never built an RDA before, check out the Lone Wolf video and it will walk you step by step on how you build an RDA, how to put the coils through, how to feed the con through and uh, it's basically the same thing but I'm quickly going to go over it again uh, so you have a you have a four posts you're going to have one coil sitting on this side and you're going to have the other coil sitting on this side the coil on one side is going to go through the coil is going to have two prongs one prong is going to go through the negative post one prong is going to go through the positive post and the same thing on the other side for the coil, one prong of the coil is going to go through the negative post and the other prong of the coil is going to go through the positive post. After you have put in your coils, you're going to tighten the screws and you're going to snip off the extra prongs of the coil that you don't need. And uh, you're going to feed the cotton through, tuck, uh, tuck the edge underneath the coil and drip your uh, juice on there. And again, you can watch the Lone Wolf uh, video and it's going to walk you step by step on how to do that. So we're not going to go over it again in this video. But again, something special about the Hellhound RDA is it's made in the U.S. It has a four post design and uh, it has a large dripping well. So I think people are going to like that. So that's, that's everything that comes in the RDA box. And again, it sells for about $49.99 to $59.99. Now we're going to go over the, the mod itself. So what's included in the mod is basically the box itself. Something that you will need to purchase separately is the IMR battery charger. 
and you'll need two 18650 IMR batteries. Again, you'll need two 18650 IMR batteries because this takes two 18650 IMR batteries. Most mods take one, this one takes two, and it does not come in the kit, so you will need to purchase that separately. Something else that you might need handy is a, is a flathead screwdriver, and I'll show you why shortly. And obviously, you're going to need juice, and you're going to need the tank that you're going to use on here. You can, buy the, you can buy the Hellhound RDA, or in this video, I'm going to use another tank I have sitting on here. Um, another tank that I used in the past, I'm going to use it on this box mod. For the RDA, it has 510 threading. I forgot to mention that, so it's pretty standard. The box mod also has 510 threading. So when you get the mod, this is what the mod looks like. There's a little slider right here. You slide it off, and it's going to expose two slots where you put your 18650 IMR batteries. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to put them in here. And when you put in the battery, make sure you check the positive and the negative uh, uh, diagrams. You don't put the battery in backwards, put it the same way how the positive and negative are shown. After you have put in your IMR batteries, again, two 18650 IMR batteries, you can slide the cover back in. It is a magnetic cover, so it stays on there pretty snugly. This is going to be your power button. That's how you're going to turn it on and off. Something you will need to keep in mind is, I don't know if you can see this, but right inside, right there, there's a, there's a little um, uh, screw. It, it's not a Phillips head screw. It's a, uh, it's a flathead screw. But there is a screw in there. So you might connect your tank and you might think, oh, the tank's not working. The reason why is this is what I was going to show you why you need a flathead screw. I mean, a flathead screwdriver is because the screw inside can be adjusted. It can be brought out or it can be brought in. And that's, for, that's to suit a, diff, uh, a variety or multitude of tanks. Like the Hellhound RDA might have a length uh, that's a little bit different from what you might have. So, all tanks, uh, many tanks are 510 threading, but the length of the post is a little bit different. So, you can bring that screw up or down to make a connection with your tank. So, if you put your tank on there and if, you've, if you see that it's not working, Look at the screw, and you might have to adjust the screw. You might have to bring it up or set it down. It's not very, it's not very complicated. It's very easy, but you do uh, need to pay attention to that. Once you have your batteries in, you can uh, thread your, your uh, tank on there, and basically you just push down, and you start vaping. It is, a, it is a little bit heavy, but um, it's heavy because of the quality. It's not going to break if it falls. Uh, it, it's made in the U.S., and the quality speaks for itself. And, uh, again, the retail price on this can range from $89.99 to $99.99, but it's well worth the price. And uh, the only thing that you will need to buy separately, or you might already have it, uh, but you need two 18650 batteries. Obviously, you need a tank and a juice bottle, and you need an IMR battery charger, and you also might need a flathead screwdriver just to bring that center post in and out based on uh, what tank you're using, because each tank has a different length post, and the post just needs to make a connection with that terminal right there. But that's all you need, and, uh, and you're set. So that was the Hellhound box mod and the Hellhound RDA. You can, uh, you can find it uh, at many smoke shops. 
but it is a great new product that's hit the market. If you get a chance, please check it out.